Hey everyone. I wanted to do a really quick video this morning. I have some other videos planned, but with my current schedule that I just received, I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to get to them all today. But this one's very important. With everyone experiencing astral battles who have become very involved with uh, this page and with their information, and with them beginning to understand why the spiritual armor is so important and why the astral sword is a vital tool. The question of what happens when we get injured, and it does happen, and um, any, any astral battle, much like any sort of physical fight or physical conflict, can leave someone feeling um, disconnected, out of balance, hurt, angry, wounded. So I'm going to introduce Waylon the Smith and Waylon the Smith is one of our most revered and loved patrons and he is absolutely necessary in the spiritual life of well we feel anyone but especially a member of the Grand Order of Draco Slayers getting to know Waylon the Smith is uh, one of the most important tasks that you'll do and uh, one of the most rewarding ones, we feel. Waylon the Smith is the spirit, the entity of the forge, the fire. He is a master entity at helping you manifest your dreams. And he is a master entity at healing you, making you whole, repairing you taking your astral body and knitting it back together, pounding out the dents in your armor and sharpening your astral sword. And he greatly hones your ability to formulate spiritual armor in a stronger, more durable way, in a way that manifests upon the physical plane in stronger and faster ways. Wayland is a old uh, Germanic spirit, in some cases even a deity, and he's one that's been greatly undervalued in our modern time, and we really need to change that. It's said that he has tasted the venom or the work of snakes in numerous legends about him, a reference to tasting either the flesh, the blood, the work, the, the hearing the words uh, of, of reptiles or snakes is mentioned somewhere and uh, this is of vital importance because he understands what the reptilian agenda has done to humanity. Ultimately he is a mighty spirit of evolution and he is a mighty spirit of, of building upon the dreams and the spiritual work and the spiritual heritage, which in some ways looks like DNA, and manifesting it into our physical world. He says, and, and we believe him, that he was one of the original spiritual entities in the formulation of what was to become human civilization. And when the reptilians came and put in a programming into our spiritual nexus that forced our evolution um, by thousands of years in, in a very short amount of time, how long, I don't really know, um, glitches were made within the human consciousness. And the human consciousness began to value greed and power and money and material things over unity, community, 
and um, evolution of the whole as opposed to domination of the few being put on the many. So ego, as in me and nothing else matters, is the reptilian agenda in the programming of the human. When originally it was the human says I am, but I am enough to support others. That was original human programming. Drawing Waylon Smith to you um, can be a timely process. He needs to make sure that you are serious. Um, reds, blacks, golds, and grays are his favorite colors. He likes hammers, small hammers, not like Thor's mighty hammer, but um, the hammer of a, of, of a craftsman. Thor is a craftsman as well. Um, in some stories, Waylon actually taught Thor crafting, but uh, Waylon is the master crafter, so a, 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 a tool hammer, a skill hammer. Um, swords and axes also. If you're going to create an altar to, to Waylon to draw you to him, um, a hammer, a sword, or an axe. Um, red tablecloth would be great. Uh, black and red and gold candles. He likes bears. Um, he is a master of the dream time, and bears go through a long hibernation, and this is the connection. He is drawn to things like skulls and wings, and the skull is because in some stories he was actually a physician. A man's head was broken, and he repaired it, and in one story he was asked to make a goblet out of a man's skull. and that was significant of drinking the dreams understanding that the thoughts and consciousness and dreams happen within a man's man's head or a woman's head this is not a death head skull this is a skull that represents the dream time the thoughts the emotions the goals that you have the uh, aspirations that you have and the hands are also very important to Waylon because the hands make them real there is a saying that says the kingdom of heaven is built with hands of flesh and this is what Waylon is interested in. He also built a couple men wings in different stories too. Wings that escaped tyranny. Uh, wings that escaped imprisonment while Waylon stayed behind, hobbled, and, una and unable to leave. This is signifying by the dark magnetic force in the world that enslaves things to work for it. Um, this is a story saying that a tyrant had enslaved the great creative ability of Wayland the Smith and forced him to stay in and build the consciousness of the people around him. Um, Wayland hates tyranny and he builds men wings to fly away when they are ready. So this is something very important to remember. Wayland Smith can forge you wings. Wayland Smith can help you take what's in your head and make it a reality. A uh, sense that uh, Waylon likes is anything that's metallic smelling. Uh, dragon's blood is always a good one. Um, not that it smells really metallic, but experiment, you'll find it. Um, hematite is a stone that draws him near as well. We have a cave that the, um, the Grand Order of Draco Slayers have used for at least 15 years now. It's an astral cave that we envision and that we go find Waylon in. Uh, you have permission now to visualize a cave, any kind of cave, it doesn't really matter. See a small fire inside, like a light coming in, like beaming out from the outside, and just say to this cave, you are the cave of the Grand Order of Draco Slayers from, from whence Waylon Smith lives. I enter to become a stronger man or woman to forge wings and to forge my dreams to heal myself, to make myself whole, to collect all my scattered parts and return myself to a sense of unity that I may be stronger and more useful to my fellow man. I enter to ask Waylon Smith, Smith's permission to do these things for me. I enter to ask Waylon Smith to teach me how to do these things. I enter so that Waylon Smith may put me together and reforge me anew and stronger. Enter into this cave and find Waylon and talk to him, give him a synopsis of all that you've dealt with, and be prepared for what he might say. He's honest and doesn't hold punches, and, um, but he will heal you. He, he will put you together again. He will forge you anew, and he will help you 
build the dreams and visions that you want. Ask what kind of payment he requires. Uh, sometimes it's just simple uh, prayers here and there, a simple thank you, and sometimes it's more. It's hard to say. So this is up to you guys. All right, this is Waylon Smith. Get to know him. You'll thank me later.